Hi everybody and welcome to Horror Quickies number 10. I have to admit when I started Horror Quickies, there's a part of me that thought that I'll probably never get past episode 3. But here we are, episode 10. Okay, today we are going to continue our review of independent horror films with Karen Lamb's 2013 supernatural revenge horror film Evangeline. This is a film that I bought when it came out in 2013 on iTunes. Somehow, some way, I, I, I guess I lost it. I hope I didn't accidentally delete it, but something happened. So, uh, not too long ago when I got a chance on Amazon, I noticed the Blu-ray for sale and I bought it. This is a great film. I'm going to be honest with you. There are a few things. I have a little slight criticisms on the film, but to me, this film is like, like just near perfect for somebody like me who likes these supernatural revenge thriller horror films. Kat Deliva plays college student Evangeline. She's naive and she is new to this college. She, she befriends her roommate and her roommate's friend and they go to a frat party. But let's rewind a little bit. At the beginning of the film it opens with a serial killer wearing plastic and his latest victim that he's going to bury in the woods. Who's not quite dead, but probably dying. Then we focus on the college students. At a party, she gets a little too drunk. She ends up puking, but at the party, she notices this handsome guy and his buddies. He's like rich frat guys. You know, she's asking questions. You know, curiosity and all that. Fast forward a little bit, and it's a holiday break. And her roommate asked her, you know, if you don't have any family, if you don't got nowhere to go, instead of staying here, why don't you come with us? You know, have a good meal and stuff. But she wanted to remain at the college. So she's in the recreation room playing pool. And uh, Richard Harmon, who plays the leader of these frat boys, pretty much, you know, uses the old charm. And he talks her into going to a cabin, you know, gives her a drink, starts talking about things like, you know, his life, her life. And then he reveals his sinister intentions. Uh, it's not really explained why his friends do this thing, but that's part of it I like. Some of the criticisms I heard about this film is that certain things weren't explained enough. I beg to differ. I love the fact that Karen Lamb, the director, did not go overboard on the explanations of things. So, needless to say, he drugs her. When she wakes up, still groggy from the drug, they're basically hunting her in the woods. They eventually, fortunately, find her and they beat her and he strangles her to death. These guys are played so well, especially by Richard Harmon, who you guys know from several TV shows, including a Continuum on Sci-Fi. He's very good at playing a sinister character. These rich guys are just so arrogant, they literally don't even bury her. He just tells them, hey, you know, drop her off somewhere. Now, as Evangeline is in a place that could be maybe limbo or hell, she is uh, sort of uh, confronted by this malevolent spirit. Now, it's not explained exactly who the spirit is. It appears to be a female. It's a really good visual. So if you're fans of The Grudge and Ring, I think you guys really dig what Karen Lamb did here. Anyways, uh, so she basically, she's, uh, she's actually not dead and eventually is found by two homeless gentlemen, one of them a former soldier, and they kind of take care of her. Um, Basically, it's obvious that whoever the spirit is, she came with her. Now, regardless of if this is the... It's not known whether it's the spirit of the girl that the serial killer killed. You know, and of course in the film, of course, he kills another girl. But it's not really explained if it's her spirit or another girl. I mean, Lord knows how many women were killed in these woods between this serial killer and these crazy frat boys. Anyways, uh, there is another homeless guy who's like kind of sinister and he wants to, you know, use her for money. But they, they won't, the two homeless guys that save her won't let her do that. So during the course of the film, her roommate and her roommate's friend and uh, her roommate's boyfriend are basically putting up uh, missing posters and, you know, really desperate to find her and find out what happened. Obviously, though fans, uh, fans of films like The Crow and stuff can see where this is going, the spirit inside her kind of comes out and first gets revenge on the serial killer, and which leads me to think it's one of his victims, and then 
proceeds to help Evangeline literally she's got this cool like porcelain face look I think you guys really dig this film I'm not gonna reveal any more about it basically she of course goes looking for revenge uh, there's a couple of twists and turns and it's really one of those films I think is severely underrated and I highly recommend it I don't really have any major criticisms uh, I like the fact that Karen Lamb didn't over explain things but at the same time I would have liked a little bit more reasoning behind why these rich frat boys are doing it specifically uh, Richard Harmon's character but you know not, I didn't really need a lot more it would have been nice just to get a thought of what her overall goal was or maybe they're just freaking crazy rich bored crazy anyways I got this movie uh, on Amazon for $19.99 yes it is worth the price I paid more than so based on the movie alone the reason I say that is because one thing about this film is you guys will notice when I do my reviews I usually have the title screen on I could not do that because this is uh, one of those discs where literally, it's literally just a movie. It goes straight to the movie. There's no title screen, no chapters. No, I would a movie like this, I would have liked behind the scenes, commentary, stuff like that. You know, extra scenes, uh, trailer at least. I would have liked stuff like that. For the value as a Blu-ray, I do feel that, I believe it's what, Uncorked Entertainment. They could have did a better job on the Blu-ray and put some stuff on it. At least the title screen and chapters. But... I'm just nitpicking but uh, for me the movie itself does make it worth it and I highly recommend it that's all for this edition of horror quickies and I will see you guys next time